Hey everybody, welcome back to another attack build playthrough. Uh, tonight we're going to try to get some better resources. Um, I am on an island, I'm trying to get my slates to grow, but while I'm here I'm on a, a desert island where crimson dragons can spawn. So I'm just in here to kind of buy some time. I'm uh, going to just go ahead and run through this dungeon. This is a lower level one, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It actually should go pretty fast. Most of the stuff that I'm going to get in here, I'm just going to offer probably. I did pick up a laser saber, even though it's got a pig's enchant. It doesn't really help, uh, but it does do more damage than what I was rolling with, so... I got this on um, the level 7 island I unlocked out of a chest. I was up there gathering some resources. I uh, also bought some um, hot dogs because they fill my uh, Sadie up all the way and it gives me some good health. So that's why I bought those. Come back down here. Where you at, buddy? Like it might be a tyrant snake or a bell fluer. Uh, looks like it's a bell fluer. Uh, let's just make sure. Got stuff. Check out this enchant. I don't think her normal base enchant is that good. Max life plus 5%, mana regeneration plus 5. Not great. It's not horrible, but it's not great. But that's not really why we're here. We're really just getting the slate of growth. Uh, and then when I pop out of this dungeon, there should be a dragon right there. And the dragon has what we want. I don't need any of this stuff. Seeds. Night Stalker, Kukri, Silver Bow, nothing, 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 nothing. Lots more weapons that I don't want. Could at least give me some enchant points. Uh, flower petals I don't need. I don't need your straw. Um... Eight hours. Well, don't need those.
And there he is. I guess I got him. Must have missed on the... Good thing is you can get under him and out of his attacks. What is the lightning? Why, why am I getting lightning damage? How is he causing me lightning damage? Oh no, this is... Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Free up some space now because he dropped what I want. I don't need that right now. So he dropped, he will always drop crimson dragons and some ores. Um, occasionally, he'll drop a two handed uh, sword. But really, this ore is what I'm looking for. Uh, as you can see, both those enchants give you plus 10% attack. This isn't that good late in the game, but at this stage in the game, this is pretty good. If I can get these enchants along with Dangerous on stuff, that's giving me plus 30% attack. You know, the other stuff on there is a bonus, but I'm really looking for that so that's that's the main reason I wanted to come here uh, was any of this other stuff uh, charcoal I don't need charcoal this dude over here is aggravating me So we will telepotion home. Well, back to here and then we'll telepotion home. Where I die. Get rid of okay, room for that. Okay, so now let's see what we can do um, we can make some ingots here really improve this so let's do that uh, we will have to my chest got flipped over I was messing around and it's flipped over now and upside down but that's okay because it still works the same um, we'll go ahead and transfer those because we don't really need those. Uh, we got a spot over here for meteorites. Put that in there. Uh, we're actually going to put some of this stuff in there too. And then this. 
Okay. Got a hard-headed ingot to you. Gives us some defense. Wolves plus 10 attack. It's not really... This is what I want. I want... 30 of these. A 100% chance. And then I'm going to go over here and I got some glass. I've got the hard headed glass. We'll take that and we'll take the Kevins. Fifty of those. Nope. Got to do some rearranging. Okay. So you can see how, since this is the gold, this is considered a legendary enchant. It's got a much higher unit price cost for enchanting. As opposed to Kevin's, which is really low. Um, but we should have two shots at this right now. So let's see what we can get. Okay. Not the worst. I would have appreciated the other enchant, but this is already an improvement on what we have. I didn't want to do defense, but that's okay. So let's see what that total. It's got me a thirteen thirty six. So now my chances are even higher. So we'll give it a go. Maybe I'll get all three this time. Ugh. Come on. Give me all three, please. There we go. Much obliged. All right. So. Now we will put that here. And we're up 1379. So we're doing good. Uh, black light armor, we could probably do better than that. We've got our defense up to 69, which not getting those negatives of dangerous helps with that so that'll mean our character's a little bit tougher can take a little bit more damage so that's good news um get rid of this so let's look at armor So we can definitely do some good on that. Let me harvest this real quick.
Not that chest. This chest, let's see what we got here. So we got two dangerous leather, 22 bear, a couple here. And what do we have in our inventory? We've got some wolves. I think I have some more leather over here. We've got axes. Eh. Lizard axes, axes. Half moon. All those are okay. Lizard swords. Gorilla would be okay. Take the bears. Alright, so we'll take dangerous, the bears, lizard swords. I don't think we've got lizards. Alright, so we still got the crimson dragon. Uh, we want to rearrange this a little bit. So that's 425, 549, and 250. I can't afford all that. I'm just going to roll with it and let's just see what I get. Swords, gorillas, lizards, bears. Oh my. <sighs> so I got... What was on my original one? So Fenrir gives me plus 10%. Um, so I get plus 10 attack. Plus 7% on the gorillas. But I get 2 plus 10% critical chance so let's see 1379 it takes a little bit off but I think it's going to greatly increase my physical critical chance is up to 50% so that means I'm gonna do critical damage half the time I do attacks so that's not bad let's see what if I can do one more Oh, am I that out? Oh yeah, because it takes a ton. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that. I think we can roll with that. Let's off this side. Just still kind of doing some cleanup here. 
I know I said I was going to automate this, but I really want to get moved before I automate this. Because if I don't, this feels like it's going to be wasted. So one thing I wanted to do, I've got enough to unlock this. I believe this is going to be a small ominous island. Um, I haven't really tested that theory, but the boss rush dungeon, which was the last update, which unlocks the boss rush dungeon, shows up on a level 7 island. It always seems like it's the first level 7 island you have on the farthest corners that you can go so like i can't go any further so we're gonna try this and it is so technically i could try to go after a small go after the boss rush dungeon it would probably be suicide um i might be able to get the first couple of levels but man i i think they would probably take me out really quick so, not going to go after it just yet. Um, oof. Man, there's a hell island. That's just not what I'm looking for at all. I'm really looking for an island to start a base. I think I'm going to do the island of the big bridge. So, that's probably what I'm going to go I said I was going to do that offline, but I I was working on slates of growth, so and I was also building up uh, wheat and gold. So you can see the gold's up to twenty million. Um, still working on that. Speaking of gold, let me go replant my peach seeds. Um, so now that I improved that, I'm up to 1358. 1358, I've got better defense. Man, I really could need to get dangerous too on these top of these. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't think I just have one of them. Let's have one monster prism. Let me let's go to Nubis first. I also lost my helicopter on that uh, island of Big Bridge while I was over there. I was messing around and I jumped off my helicopter and, and a, a crocodile killed me. And I just didn't go back because it was gonna be a it was gonna be a problem going back. And we're still just going straight live. But now I can use uh, Slaves of Evolution and increase other stats, so... I don't think there's any uh, supply pods here. now 
All right, so. Let's, um, let's build some monster prisms. What do I need? I just need some sand. I got sand somewhere. Sand would be in this upside down. That's building. I'm gonna craft me another workbench because I want to do some other stuff. Um, have not completed some other missions, and that'll give me some more inventory space if I do. So I need to craft uh, five of these. I need bioethanol, though. And that's gonna be the problem. Hmm. Okay. Got bioethanol. I may have to use my structural me mechanics. Glitch. It's not really a glitch, it's just a trick. But the structural mechanics, when you place a object and pick it up and keep doing that it has a chance to give you back the materials you use to create that object so if your object took bioethanol you have a chance of getting that back um, it's a really low percent chance if you max it out but it works um, i did a video where that's how I, you could do feces it's a way to get feces is by doing that by making the planter plant putting down the planter picking it up putting it down picking it up and it worked really well. Um, uh, Kaztec, if you ever watch any of his videos, he just put out a new video about a trick to do with a planter where you can just make that go a lot faster, um, which I thought was pretty cool. So let's do more of those. I have some here. those what am I short oh cogwheels it's more uh, So then you have to deploy these. I don't even think they have to like be doing anything. You just set them up, which is kind of dumb, but. I'm an excavator. Gonna fish, finish my mission later. You can't tell I have kids, so blippy songs are ingrained in my head. Ha! 
I could have just picked up and redeployed the same one. That's so stupid. Okay. You can see what they do. They just spit out. They excavate the sand for you. So, eh, I'll keep that. I'll keep those, um, and we'll, you'll see why when I get to the island. It won't happen right now. Uh, let's see my missions. Let's see, there you go. Got inventory, tamer. I got to capture a cow, a bear, and ten animals. I need to craft a potion. I can do that real quick too. That gives me more inventory spaces. I need to set up five rotating saws. These dudes are annoying. Said so they do damage to you and they will try to get to your stuff. I don't want you to do it. Go out there and die. No, I want you to die. So that's interesting. You just have to set up one or build one and then set them and pick it up. Okay, so I will not use those. I will just offer all of this because I hate those. All this sand. And actually, I will take all this sand. And offer it. Those aren't very fast. It's easier just to get it yourself. Alright, more inventory. Okay, so this just gives you cloud storage. Cloud storage. Cloud storage. Animal hunter. Cloud storage. Monster hunter. Cloud storage. All these are complete. Uh, the tamer one, these gives you more, but these take forever. This one takes forever. And then novice mage. Wow, I haven't used 110 mana within 10 seconds. That's interesting. Obtain three mana potions. I don't know if I have the herbs to do that. Don't know if I have blue herbs. Thought maybe I did. Uh, do I have blue herbs? No, I got yellow herbs. I got bright red herbs, but I don't have any blue herbs. Hmm. Okay. Well. Harvest this real quick. And let's get 
stacks of that. Start another hundred there. Was it in 10 seconds? Oh, that was a waste. Surely that was in 10 seconds. Maybe not. I was trying to get that 110. 10 seconds, but apparently I didn't make it. One more for the road. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. What was I going to do? I know what I was going to do. I'm going to go to the island of the cove. So what I want to do is I want to set up a crocodile farm. So in order to set up a crocodile farm, we're going to catch some crocodiles. And I'm also going to set up a merchant farm. So I need to capture some merchants. So... Get our monster prisms. I'm gonna hope I don't kill him when I punch him. And I did. Dang it. Sorry, Mr. Smith. Where are my crocodiles at? What in the world? Usually they always spawn over here. I've never seen them not spawn right here. Okay. Um, is any animal spawning? Yeah, there's a pig over there. Well, that's just weird. See if they spawn on this island off here. I think I see one out there. That is very strange. Some point in swimming. You got a little more HP than the good Mr. Smith. Ah! No, no, no. Come back here. Those are precious resources. Give me that back. Alright. One captured crocodile. Really hoping there would be some more over here. Still crazy that there's none over there.
see if I can get this merchant up here without killing him. He just yeeted himself over the top of me. What I'll do is I'll unequip some of the stuff to lower my attack a little bit. Hopefully I won't get a critical turnaround, dude, so I don't consider it a punch in the back. Ugh. Well, not exactly what I wanted to happen there. But that crocodile spawned now, so that's weird. I need two. I need to be low level, so this is going to work out. There we go. Come here, I'll take a third one. You're even lower level, so that's awesome. Come on. Jump out of water. There. That's good. Now I gotta back up. So just remember when you're trying to capture animals, you got to knock down their health to the low red slash purple. They call it purple, but I I'm, must be colorblind because it really just looks like another red. It's another shade of red. Speaking of capturing, I got to count. See, that's like bright red and I just killed that cow with the punch so that's not what I wanted to do come on Let's see if I can there we go looks like a red to me what they're talking about but Man, how much more Still 30. All right. Well, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Um, so we did... Another dungeon, beat a bell floor, hadn't really fought her before, uh, fought a dragon, so showed you that if you're on the island of desert, the dragon hasn't spawned, just wait a little bit, go into a dungeon, do a dungeon, come out, give it a like, I think it's like the timer's like six to ten minutes or something like that, um, so you can go after the dragon, get your crimson dragon, like I said, the Crimson Dragon, it, Dragon's Enchants, it's two, one's Crimson, one's called Dragon. They're good, but they're still not the best attack chance. They're good early game, um, but like if you can get that Iron Ore, get that stuff that you needed on it, and you can kind of work that in with the Dangerous, um, you can really kind of buff that up. I may, while I'm not recording, I may go and get that dragon several more times um, just to build up some stock of that and I'm definitely going to start building uh, 
moving to my level seven island uh, so I can establish a base there and take that. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. Um, I'll try to answer them. If you got anything you want to see me cover, let me know and I'll try to cover it. And uh, we're moving right along. I mean, we could technically just go straight boss rush. I mean, that's kind of my goal is to try to solo with an attack build boss rush dungeon. It's going to be hard. I don't even know if it's possible, but I, I, it, I imagine it is. Um, I just have to get this build right. Um, so that's what I'm going for, but it's going to take some work. And it's going to take a little bit to get there because I've got to get enchants. I've got to go find some better enchants and some better weapons. Um, so that's after I get my base move, that's going to be the next thing to work on is just working on better weapons. Uh, going to have to get my Hydra to get to the final age so I can build the best weapons and keep going that way. And then, uh, you know, beat Fafner things like that so that's what to look forward to in the series um that's all i've got for tonight and as always thanks for watching